Did you know food handling safety risks at home are more common than most people think? Hi, I'm Don Bolger, and welcome to the DuPage County Health Department's Food Safety Friday. There are four easy steps that can help prevent harmful bacteria from making you, your family, and friends sick. They are clean, separate, cook, and chill. To walk us through the steps from the Environmental Health Services Unit of the DuPage County Health Department, welcome sanitarians Shy and John. Thank you both for agreeing to help promote food safety. And John, the title sanitarian to the average person really says nothing because a lot of what you do is behind the scenes. What does a sanitarian do? Well, like you said, we're in the Environmental Health Services Division of the Health Department, and uh, our primary objective is to focus on food safety. Um, so a lot of what we do is to go into restaurants, uh, and like you said, well, a lot of what we do is behind the scenes, working with owners, chefs, kitchen staff, making sure they're following all the rules and regulations set up by the FDA to prevent uh, illnesses from being spread. And Shia, those are the people in the community that are seeing you regularly, very familiar with what you do. When you're in a kitchen, what are some of the things that cause the biggest problems? Well, some of your biggest issues is improper hand washing. Nine times out of ten, most people don't know how often to wash your hands and how long to wash your hands. And cleanliness is right at the top of the list, extremely important because bacteria can spread throughout a kitchen and get on your hands, cutting boards, knives, utensils, even the work surface. And the way to avoid that is to clean and clean often. So Shai, what are some of the ways that you recommend cleaning, especially when it comes to your hands? Well, first thing you want to do is, of course, wash your hands and wash your hands for a certain length of time. And that length of time is? It's 20 seconds. So what are you, counting 1, 1,000, 2, well, 1,000? Well, in the health department, we have an easy way to remember how often, how long you should wash your hands, and that's usually singing your favorite song, which is Happy Birthday or your ABC song. Oh. So now you've washed your hands for 20 seconds. You also want to wash the cutting boards, all the utensils, and get that bacteria off, right? Correct. And, and how do you do that? Well, normally we say that you use water, hot water and, so and soap, and we ask that you clean everything prior to use. Okay, so once that countertop is clean, do you want to use this dish towel to dry it off? Uh, we prefer that you use a disposable paper towel. That way you can use it and it can be used as single use only. Oh, makes but sense. But if you do decide to use a, a towel like this, you want to make sure it's properly clean and is put into the laundry once it's been used. Ah, very good. One area a lot of people overlook shy, fruits and vegetables. So when it comes to things like apples, tomatoes, peaches, what do you recommend? What we recommend is that you use warm water and scrub. And things that come out of the ground, let's say carrots, potatoes, cantaloupes, what do you suggest? We also recommend using warm water and scrub, but we also insist that you use a brush to remove some of the solids. Next up is separates. And John, let's talk about how bacteria can spread through cross-contamination. What is the best way to avoid cross-contamination in the fridge? The best way to avoid cross-contamination in your refrigerator is to separate the raw foods and the cooked foods. So you always want to keep the vegetables on top, cooked foods in the middle, raw foods on the bottom, especially the meat and poultry. Oh, got it. We've talked about clean and separate, John. Next up is cook. And even for the most experienced chef and cook, improper heating and preparation can mean bacteria can survive. How do you check those internal temperatures? Well, you bring up a good point. The most important thing is to check the internal temperature. You never want to rely on color when it comes to cooking. So whether you're cooking ground meat, ground poultry, you never want to rely on the, on the color of it. You want to take, use a meat thermometer to check the temperature to make sure that the internal temperature of it reaches the proper temperature. And what about sauces and soups? Uh, sauces and soups, uh, if you're reheating them, you want to make sure that they come to a rolling boil for at least 15 seconds. And for more information on proper cooking temperatures, go to our website, dupagehealth.org. Because bacteria spreads fastest at temperatures between 40 and 140 degrees, chill is an important factor. Chilling food properly is one of the most effective ways to reduce the risk of foodborne illness. You want to chill leftovers, right, John, and make sure that foods are not left out more than two hours. Right. So the best way to do that is to keep the fridge at 40 degrees or below. And to use, you, the best way to keep track of that is to use the appliance thermometer that's already in your refrigerator. And then you want to separate large portions into smaller containers so that they'll cool quicker. You also want to refrigerate or freeze meat, poultry, and eggs, and other perishables as soon as you get home from the store. And the best way to do that is what, carry a cooler with you? You could do that, or the best other way to do it is just to do it as soon as you get home. Okay. So when it comes to defrosting, John, what is the best way to properly defrost food? Well, you never want to leave it out at room temperature. So the best way is to put it in the fridge and leave it in there. Okay. And there are also safe, fast ways to defrost food. Shy, what are those? 
Well, there's two types of ways you can thaw foods. You can thaw it under running water, or you can put it in a microwave. Just remember though, those items have to be cooked right after. So, some simple steps. Remember, clean, separate, cook, chill. Shy, John, thank you.